Okay, so let's get on then. Right, uh, we left it last time. Um, I think we'd just done all of the structure on the wing and the harnesses were in for the servos and the servos with the little hatches round. So now we have to add on the shrink film or the solar film. I've already added, added it onto the underside, uh, the white part of it. Um, it's worthwhile at this point if you connect up the batteries and just make sure that the servos are in the neutral position so that you haven't got a one aiming backwards or whatever because once you add on the top uh, uh, part of the film you won't be able to get back in there so we need to get that sorted now so there we are we're in the neutral position now we just sort of disconnect everything and flip the ring over this is much the same as when we did the stabiliser part um, it's just it's much bigger and it's fairly easy to do the bottom side because it's flat so I thought I would show us how to do the harder part which is uh, the top side so as I say we've got all the servos in you just get your iron just a household iron and just shrink all of the stuff on there just to make sure it's all stuck down before we start right slip out a piece of the shrink film the size you need to make sure you don't get any oily hand marks on onto the wood otherwise it won't stick so anything that looks a bit iffy just get rid of it That'll be a little bit of mastic on there actually. And this is where the two um, nap shells or whatever you call them uh, for the engines will go. So that'll be the looms there for the speed controllers. Right. Switch up the radio to save your battery. Now we just peel back the protective film on there, which then exposes the heat glue. Right, just lay it on there so that you're overlapping all the way around, especially on the end piece. Find your little wire the loom piece and just make a, a little slip in there to let the wire through. Well I say everything you do now you can't really change anything about it afterwards without making holes and you'll have to go in through the bottom. Just make sure you get everything as you want it. Right so there we have it. Just pull that through. Now you don't want to stretch this really really tight but you just want to get it so it's laid on roughly to the right kind of tension and just kind of dab it on with the iron. thing that I will say don't go over it too much like that because it will actually shrink it down. So just put a little bit there like that so when you stretch it out to the ends like that and just take it to take up any of the slack as I said don't make it too tight because you are going to shrink it on with the iron it's quite hard to show you this yeah, it's down there. I'll just alter your position here Right. So all we're doing is just getting it stuck on more or less straight. As you can see, it's still it's still slack in the middle. Now 
The thing you don't want to do, like we did with the stabiliser, where we just laid the iron on and just whooped across it. Because it, it'll stretch it in whichever direction you go. So what you want to do is just wipe away, not uh, so not a long way, because by the time you reach the other end you'll have a wrinkle in it. So just kind of do this with it. So all going down the way. All the way around. Over the way. You see okay there, yeah. You just see it starts to melt the glue down. open structures you can just use a heat source and hold it up to the heat source and it'll shrink it down. You know, once you get the edges on, if you heat it it'll just as you as you go along the heat source it'll melt it on and it shrinks. The thing with that is it's great for open structures but uh, for this is half and half. It's half open structure in there and half this plank. So I like to iron it onto the plank and then you don't actually get any of the blisters in there. Right, we'll just start on the other side. It's quite an awkward shape actually. Flip it over. Also you have to make sure there's nothing going to make holes in the underside of the wing uh, after you've done all of this. Don't have, don't kind of do that with it because it will stretch along, and you'll end up with all kinds of wrinkles in it. is not on the plan. So if you want to make yours into a three channel, by all means do that. Kind of kind of thing you can't you can't rehearse this, you can't practice it. You just have to go for it really. Now, this is the bit that I want to show you really. So you don't want to do that with it. You need to go like that so all of the all of the stretch is going towards the back of the wing. Or to the front, it doesn't really matter. You see what I'm doing there? Not really, but I'll bring in closer for the last bit. Quite a, a meticulous little job. This really, if you get it wrong, it, it kind of looks awful, then. which is very easy uh, to get wrong as well. But if you were just to shrink it down as a over a heater, you would actually get. Um, there's lumps in it and air bubbles. I'll bring you in a little closer. Let's just see if you can see that. Right, get that down there. So all we're doing is we're just going uh, towards the front of the wing and towards the back of the wing. Try not to wipe along the sideways. 
because what will happen is you'll take all of the slack along there and then you'll see a big wrinkle in it. Because because I'm I'm actually going to do mine in, in an RAF scheme, any wrinkles I do get I can hide un, underneath the paint, which is kind of useful. Right, I'll just stick you on pause there for a moment. Okay, so that's the uh, the planked parts done. Now, for the open structure, it is very like when you do the um, the stabiliser. You just you just come straight back with the iron. Remember, not that way, straight back, and it will shrink down. So just go like that, and that's where that thing I was showing you about sticking on the little strips over the over each of the wing spars. You kind of make things easier because you can see how on there it sticks over the little strips we added on. If you don't add those on then you really have got a very open structure and you can't actually iron it down onto the little skinny bits of uh, 16th wood. Although as I recommended I would probably have changed all of those over to a, a different size anyway. And you can wipe it back as well like we're doing there. But that's pretty much how it would go. get the idea there you can see it's pretty smooth compared to the bagginess there and it starts to get pretty taut and that is it I'll be going um, along the rest of that in a moment Just take you back there right so the next stage really will be adding the radio into under there. I've, I've just added in the circles but they're not screwed down so you'll have to get the snakes in, into there and shape to length and then the radio installation then we'll have to do the engine parts but um, oh, where are you going? Right, there you go. uh, yeah so the next bit will be the engines which I'll probably um, I'm, I'm undecided as to what kind of uh, so revs I'm going to go for on the electric motors and the prop sizes but it, yeah, we'll have to sort of work that out with another plane because I've got a mosquito that I built which I'll probably uh, use as a, as a test bed for the uh, for the props I'll show you that at a later date okay that'll do for now I think see you again <laughs>